Welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at this shotgun microphone compatible with most cameras and smartphones. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews. I hope everyone's fine and well, having a fantastic day. With that being said, let's jump right into this. So this is the AndySign M1 Pro shotgun microphone and as previously mentioned, it's compatible with most cameras and smartphones. I got this from Amazon and it cost $29.99 at the time of recording. I'll leave links in the description as always. And I'm not sponsored or connected to Andy Sign in any way, shape or form. This is just my experience. Okay, so this version comes in this improved sleeve type box. One of several improvements, I believe, with this microphone. I also have the old model too, so we can compare them later on. We're met with this black pull string bag with the AndySign logo printed along the bottom, also in black. It looks pretty well done, so it shouldn't fall off too easily. Inside the bag we have a dead cat, which is the windsock. This feels pretty good actually, and I think it's slightly smaller than the older version. Then we have the microphone itself and the pop filter. We also get a free dead cat here. This is pretty much same as the old model then, so the only addition I can see right off the bat is that we have the out port, where we didn't used to have that. But otherwise it looks pretty much the same with the AndySign logo along the base. Then we've got the M1 Pro across the middle. The four cutouts near the upper tier look very neat and well machined. And then we have the front pickup and vent at the top. It all feels very well manufactured and to a good standard. It's made from aluminium, so it's pretty weighty for such a small microphone. And it's a polar pattern pickup microphone. Also included in the box are two cables. We have one for your cameras and one for your smartphones. These cables have also been improved. The old ones used to be plain black and they would have like a little paper sticker on with the icon. These look slightly more modern and they have the icons printed on the actual plug head, which is far more durable. Pretty good. Another free dead cat hair, but for the microphone stand then, again, we've got another little bit of an upgrade here. Not much, but we've got a little grey rubber insert that sits inside the clamp, which should prevent the microphone from wobbling. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the microphone to have some flex, but I don't want it to wobble, and I don't want any of that wobbly noise to be picked up in my audio. At the bottom, you have your typical one quarter inch mounting thread, and then you have your typical shoe mount, which is usually universal. And AndySign like to include a lens cleaner as a complimentary gift with most of their products. So then just some final bits of literature and onto a sound test guys. This is the AndySign M1 Pro shotgun microphone for cameras and smartphones. This is straight out of the box settings and without any pop filter. I'm stood around one foot in front of the microphone. Then we're going to test it from the side, from the rear, and back to the front. So this is the AndySign M1 Pro shotgun microphone for cameras and smartphones. This is with the pop filter on, and again I'm stood around a foot in front of the microphone. From the side, from the rear and back to the front. This is the AndySign M1 Pro shotgun microphone for cameras and smartphones. This is with the windsock on and again I'm stood around a foot in front of the microphone. From the side, from the rear, and back to the front. I'm just going to blow into the microphone now as it's the windsock to test the resistance. This is a little light blow. And then a hurricane blow. Okay, so now we're going to repeat this same process outside. 
This is the Andesign M1 Pro shotgun microphone for smartphones and cameras. From the side, from the rear, and back to the front. Then with our pop filter on, this is the Andesign M1 Pro shotgun microphone for smartphones and cameras. From the side, from the back, and back to the front. And then with the windsock finally, this is the Andesign M1 Pro shotgun microphone for smartphones and cameras. From the side, from the back, and back to the front. That's a steady wind. Hurricane wind. Okay, so everything being considered, this ACM1 Pro microphone is going to be very hard to beat at this price. It's very well made and includes everything you would need as a beginner to get started. I would describe it as a solid and an affordable option. It's not cheap nor premium microphone, but there's been several upgrades across the board. As I mentioned, everything you would need to get started, so... We get pop filter, windsock, cables, everything that was previously mentioned. The extra 3.5mm jack, so you can now monitor your audio levels. There's been a couple of upgrades to the shock mount, so they used a different type of plastic which is more flexible. And they added this rubber insert to grip the microphone, which prevents you getting unwanted sounds from knocks and stuff like that. It's a much better shock mount. The microphone itself is pretty much the same otherwise, and it sounds very good at this price range. I would give it 4 stars out of 5, and I think it's a very solid option for any beginner. Another minor point, but a massive one in my opinion, is they cut back on all the plastics in the packaging. It's now fully cardboard instead of a big plastic tray, which is excellent in my opinion. If you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, Please go ahead and leave a like on the video, it really helps the channel out. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. Thank you for each and every one of you for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other, and until next time, I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.